Jai Sriman Narayana. The following commentary I'm about to give is by Ramanujadasa Sriman Gattu Venugopala Swami. Chapter 6 Atma Samyama Yoga Sloka 4 Yeda Hicha Indriyardeshu Nakarmasu Anushadjate Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi Yoga Rudhaha Tadochyate Vum Gita Charya Sri Krishna Paramatma is teaching Atma Samyama Yoga to all of us along with Arjuna. Paramatma is saying, Arjuna, until you attain Atma Sakshat Karam or self-realization, you have to keep performing Nishkama Karma or performing actions without expecting fruits. Once you attain Atma Sakshat Karam or self-realization, you need to strengthen that. In order to strengthen the attainment of Atma Sakshat Karam, you need to renunciate Sankalpam. Sankalpam comprises of the following three things. 1. Having fondness towards mundane pleasures. 2. Putting efforts to earn and enjoy mundane pleasures. And 3. Having desire to experience the fruits of all your actions. If you abstain from doing these three things, you are known as someone who is renunciating sankalpam. When you abstain from doing these three things, your attainment of atma sakshat karam gets solidified, and then you are known as yoga rudha, or a person who has climbed the heights of yoga. This is how Sri Krishna Paramatma is encouraging all of us to keep performing nishkama karma or performing actions without expecting fruits, bring down fondness upon mundane pleasures, which is verily temporary, refrain from putting any intentional effort to earn and enjoy mundane pleasures, and remove all sinful thoughts. While meditating upon Sri Krishna Paramatma's teachings and while putting an intensified effort to practice Sri Krishna Paramatma's teachings, let us all repeat Paramatma's words as it is. Yedahi chendriyardhe shuna karma svanu shajjate sarva sankalpa sanyasi yoga rudhastadochyate. The entire essence of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is given by Sri Krishna Paramatma in Chapter 18, Sloka 65-70 through 70, to do eight things. Sri Krishna says, I love those who follow these eight things. I will protect those devotees in all kinds of ways. After listening to all of Bhagavad Gita spoken by Sri Krishna Paramatma, Arjuna says, Karishye Vachanam Tava, which means, Krishna, I will do as you say. This is why Sri Krishna has bestowed Arjuna all kinds of successes and victories. Let's give Paramatma our vow that we will observe these eight actions. There is no puja, tapas, or yajna that is greater than giving this word to Paramatma. I will say these eight vows we should make. You all please think these in your mind and heart. In this way of us giving Sri Krishna our word, let us all visualize Sri Krishna's face Beaming with joy and feel bliss. Jai Sri Manarayana. These are our eight promises. Our first promise. O Sri Manarayana, as you instructed, I will always meditate upon and think of you. Our second promise. O Sri Manarayana, as you advised, I will always be your devotee. Our third promise, O Sriman Narayana, I will perform all my actions as service to you and for your satisfaction. Our fourth promise, O Sriman Narayana, as you said to follow, I have great faith that I belong to you 
and I will always join my hands together and do a namaskaram to you and worship you. Our fifth promise, O Sriman Narayana, I recall your words, Maamekam Saranam Vraja, from chapter 18, sloka 66, that you said to surrender to you alone. Sriman Narayana, I surrender to you alone. Our sixth promise, O Sriman Narayana, I recall your words, Ma Suchaha, from chapter 18, sloka 66, that you are giving us reassurance to not grieve. I shall no longer grieve. Our seventh promise, O Sriman Narayana, you have graced and blessed us all by delivering Srimad Bhagavad Gita for our sake. I promise to read or listen to at least one sloka daily. Our eighth promise, O Sriman Narayana, you delivered Gita to all humanity. I will try to spread your words in Gita to those devotees that are unfamiliar with Gita. We just made our eight promises to Paramatma. Giving Sriman Narayana our word each day that we will do as he says itself is a great puja. Let's give him our promise with our unshakable faith. O Sriman Narayana, I will do as you say, I will behave as you wish, and I will work only for you. Sriman Narayana, Karishye Vachanam Tava, which means, Sriman Narayana, I will act according to your instructions. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu, Jai Sriman Narayana. Yeda hicha Indriyardeshu Nakarmasu Anushadjate Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi Yoga Rudhaha Tadochyate Vum Yedahi Chendriyar Deshu Nakar Masvanu Shadjate Sarva Sankalpa Sanyasi Yoga Rudhas Tadochyate Sriman Narayana Karishye Vachanam Tava Sarvam Sri Krishna Panamastu Jai Sri Mannarayana Jai Sri Mannarayana A special request to all devotees In all the things in our life We want immediate and effective results To achieve this Let's spend one minute daily And read Narayanastram In order to obtain Narayanastram Go to Narayanastram website which is www.narayanastram.org and provide your name and email in the registration. You will receive a Narayanastram PDF to the email you provided. In the PDF, there's a Ramayana Sloka, a Gita Sloka, and a Vishnu Namam. The three of these put together is called Narayanastram. Everyone receives a different combination of these slokas. When everyone reads or listens to their Narayanastram daily along with 24,000 devotees, one round of Sampurna Ramayana Parayana, 33 rounds of Srimad Bhagavad Gita Parayana, 24 rounds of Sri Vishnu Sahasranama Stotra Parayana is completed every day. This is such a remarkable and extraordinary outcome that comes out of doing this every single day. That's why, you and your family members immediately go and obtain your Narayanastram. Jai Sriman Narayana.